Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You will see the background is a bit different because I am set up for another 200 pound video series. So this is the third time I have placed this giant order and call me crazy, that works too. But these videos happen to be the most watched videos here on my channel. So I want to do what you guys are interested in seeing and there's a lot of work involved, but I'm also going to make some money. So it's a win-win and I'm going to do this series a bit different. If you have been following along, I did this series back in like February and then again, maybe in June. And I, all I did was four videos in each series of unboxing box one, two, three, and four. This is 200 pounds and they come in roughly 50 pound boxes. So the first time around, I feel like I actually did great. I followed through with what I wanted to do. I, that, that set uh, was $1.47 was my average cost of goods. And the fifth video in that first series I came back and let you guys know how long it took me. I did my first 30 days. I was able to sell only 13 items and recoup my money from that box. And then I have made so much profit off that first order. The second order over the summer, I did the four unboxings. I dropped the ball. I never came back and did the fifth video for you guys. And quite frankly, I am still getting some of those items up, still been taking some of it to buy, sell, trade. It was summertime. I don't know what I was thinking. I am just a part-time reseller. Um, we spent a lot of time at Disney. If you get my shirt, then we could be best friends. And yeah, I just, you know, it just is what it is. I do this as my way to um, bring myself joy. Uh, the whole mental health thing really came front and center for everybody last year. So I hope you are doing wonderful. If not, find somebody to talk to, find something that brings you joy. Reselling does that for me. I do also have a full-time job that is also from home. So I do have flexibility to kind of go sourcing when I want and do all of this. So anyway, the second order was a cost of goods of $1.32. So I was okay. That uh, box, I'm just going to say box, it was boxes, was not as great as the first round, but I've already made my money back and it's definitely profitable. So these boxes are $450. I do think I spent 500 the first time and then they dropped the price, but it was still, I mean, that first box, you have to, if you want to go back, I do have playlists linked below, uh, my Thread Up Rescues playlist. And I got some pretty amazing things in that box. So this video is part one of the series. I'm not gonna tell you how many videos they're going to be because it's kind of going to determine how long they are going. But here's my plan for this series. This first video, judging by the title, I'm going to show you the trash, like what is literally going to find its way to the trash can. Now, some of it I will be able to donate, but I'm not going to donate things with holes and, and, and that sort of thing. So um, this is what I plan to do. I'm going to give you an overview. I have already unboxed. Spoiler, I've already opened this all and sorted it. I felt like that was kind of an easier thing. A lot of people, maybe you enjoy sitting here. I'm going to show you every piece still, just in a different format. So today's video, I'm going to show you the trash and also the few items that I'm going to keep. And then I'm going to do, this is where it's gonna be different. I have sorted my items. I've kind of gotten a little better at this reselling game and I know what my time is worth in terms of, I've got three kids, I'm a wife, I own another business and I know what's worth my time as far as, do I really wanna take the time to list it? Is it going to make me enough profit that it's worth it? So way more items from these boxes are going to go to buy, sell, trade stores. So another video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to take to Plato's Closet. That is the younger, uh, late teens, early 20s store. And then from there, we also have Style Encore here. We do not have like the Uptown Cheapskate. There's a couple other stores of the like out there, but I am here in Orlando, Florida. That's kind of our option. We had one other closed mentor. I don't even know if that still exists. It's not on my side of town anyway, but Play-Dohs does not take a lot of the more mature brands, the Ann Taylor, the that sort of thing. But Style Encore will oftentimes take the stuff that Play-Dohs also takes. Doesn't make sense to me, but I've kind of learned over the last several months, I go to Play-Dohs first, I take those leftovers along with the rest of my stuff for Style Encore. So another video will be what I'm taking to Style Encore and how much I make from that. So you can kind of see the whole process of this 200 pound bulk order. Maybe you just watch these for entertainment because you're like, girl, you're crazy, I would never buy that. Or maybe you're interested in doing this for yourself. 
And then I'm going to do, a, I have recently done a Thread Up Partners kit. And you guys, that was such an amazing experience. They literally picked up the items from my door and two weeks later I had a gift card in my email. Mind you, I sent two boxes the same day. I wanted to just kind of see how long the one that was the regular way was going to take. And it says it's gonna process in like January. So I am going to uh, do what I'm sending into my Thread Up Partner kit. And then of course wait the two weeks so then I can sh uh, slice in and show you what they took and how much I made. I just feel like those kind of videos are going to be more helpful than me literally just showing you everything I got. And finally, I'm going to show you, I have an overflowing box of items that I'm going to list myself, but I'm going to film that today, obviously, but I'm going to wait from 30 days from the day I start listing the first item and just kind of come back and show you what has sold in the first 30 days. So this video series is not going to be what you're going to see all in a row on my channel. There will be other things in between, but they will have the same cover photo. I will number them so you make sure you don't miss a video in the series and I'll make sure they're all linked in the description of each video. So that's kind of the recap of how I'm going to do this first order. Now, if I want to start with this disclaimer. First, I need a sip of wine because I have been working on this for the last two days. If you are not a reseller who is wanting to put in the elbow grease, the sweat equity, the back pain, the ibuprofen popping, you probably don't want to order this box. And I say that because I have done two loads of laundry today. I'm, I do not wash every item just like the bins or Goodwill or whatever, I wash the items that need to be washed. I had to wash two, I have a very large, uh, what's it called, top loader washing machine and I filled it twice. And guys, here's the thing, you have to know that things can't gross you out. Several items were completely covered in dog hair or cat hair, I don't know. So if you have allergies or you just get grossed out by animal hair, don't order these. Um, and here's the thing, most of the items that I washed were not because they had stains. Several did, don't let me fool you. But I was able to get out all but like three. But I, most of them had crusty deodorant marks on the front, in the armpit. So if you order any type of box from ThreadUp, always look inside. Several of the items actually looked perfect on the outside until I looked inside to the armpit mark covered in deodorant. Like I just don't understand why people send stuff in in that condition. And some of the items that you'll see in several of the future videos they are nice items that I 100% believe would have sold and some of them for quite a bit had they simply washed the items before they sent them in. But anyway, all right, that is a very long intro, but I thought it was all important to share with you. So let's recap. This 200 pound box, I'm going to spoiler alert and let you know, what did I just say? Spoiler alert. I don't know, it came out kind of weird. This was my cheapest overall uh, cost of goods. It was uh, $1.31 per item. And I even in one of the boxes, I have a bunch of like pantyhose and random crap, like a stack of them. I counted that as one item where in the past I had not. So it's a penny cheaper per item than my last order and uh, a little bit, a couple cents cheaper than my first one. So 366 items. That is how many items I have worked my way through. So it's a lot. It really is a lot. I kind of overtook my entire kitchen area living. I mean, you've got to have the space to dedicate and the time. So let's dig into first, I would like to show you the items I decided to keep. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Uh, there are only 10 items here and none of them are that great. I will say overall this, you will see there are a lot of bread and butters are not my first boxes. I had a lot of name brand higher end. My second boxes, I had like a lot of like what I put tchotchkes, I don't even know what that word really means, but like a lot of bras and underwear and just smaller type items that were just easy to list, make a lot of profit really quickly. Didn't have a lot of that in this box. So anyway, these are the items I plan to keep, which is a perk of the job. These, I didn't even care what size these were when I saw them in the box and I felt them. I'm like, those are mine. Turns out they were my size. They are just these tie-dye, rainbow, unicorn, mermaid, glitter, that's your girl. And they are so soft. They are by the brand Streetwear Society Active. So I had to have these. So they are mine. These are a pair of Athleta 100% linen shorts. I'm in Florida. We wear shorts most of the year. This is just a silly thing, but there's the buy sell trade stores aren't gonna take it. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's not worth my time to list online. It's the brand Lazy One. 
They make a lot of really cute pajamas, matching pajamas we bought for my family. It's just an otter and it says, I'm otterly exhausted. It's like a pajama dress. So yeah, I'm keeping that. One random pair of cozy socks. My last boxes had several socks. Um, there was a lot of Walmart in these boxes, a lot more than the first couple, but thankfully my Plato's Closet and Style Encore take, they love to take Walmart and Target items. So, so it's just time and true, but I really, I, to be honest with you, I don't go to Walmart. I avoid it like the plague. I shop at Aldi. That is my number one place I shop. I love Target, the super store and that's where, and Publix. Publix is like the closest grocery store to my house. I don't go to Walmart. There's not really one super close and it just, I don't like to go there. Um, so I didn't realize they actually have some really cute things. This is a dress that has this little knotted area, super lightweight cotton. Wear this with a cute little pair of Converse or something. And I just thought this would be cute for, I don't know, a day I have to go up to the school or do something like that. So I could have taken it to buy, sell, trade, but I actually just thought it was really cute. Same with these two. These are both Walmart, but they are in brand new condition just without the tag. They are just uh, rimmed layering tank tops and I like to wear these under sweaters and honestly I tried them on they are longer which I hate the ones that are short I'm not a crop top kind of girl a little hack for you maybe you have not been pregnant ever but maternity tank tops the ones from Target I still my my youngest is six I buy them for the undershirts because they're so much longer so maybe you didn't know that so go get you some maternity tank tops if you like them but honestly these are no boundaries now I am a medium large these days. These are the extra large 15, 17, which I'm guessing is juniors, but they are a nice length. So I decided to keep those two because what I would have made 30 cents. Now this is probably the softest dress I've ever felt in my life. I didn't, um, it's, it's got like a cinched waist and it's the perfect little length. It is so comfortable. This brand, I don't know. I didn't Google lens it. It's probably one I should know. It's just an M, but this is, this feels like butter. Another little dress. The brand is First Love. I don't really know what that is, but I just thought it was cute. It has pockets, it's camo. And this, I just thought this was also cute. If I have to dress up these days, it's with something like this. And then just another pair of shorts from the limited. So nothing super special. Any of the other like more higher end things just for my size. So let me show you the crap that you're going to have to go through. I think it's important to see this part. Uh, I know I have watched some videos from other resellers where they kind of only show you the stuff that they plan to sell. I don't know. I think that's kind of misleading because you've got to dig through this crap. It's almost like you bring the bins, the Goodwill clearance outlet into your living room and most of the stuff you wouldn't bring home. So let's just jump in. Uh, this is Abercrombie and Fitch. It's, it's a really soft, like open cardigan with a, where is it? Giant hole right here in the front. Anyway, all right, so that is trash. I'm not gonna donate something like that. This is disgusting. This is um, old Target, but it's like a, I think it used to light up. It's got like these weird things sticking out of it, but it's dirty, it's gross, covered in hair. That's trash. This is a Forever 21 dress. It would The back is actually really cute. It wouldn't be terrible, but there's a huge, like um, it's missing the belt and there's like a, a pull in the material. This, I think the trendy kids wear stuff like this these days. It's pretty little things. It's like a crop, but this sleeve is almost falling off. This is Sonoma, but it's got a giant stain, like a bleach stain. I tried to treat it, it didn't come out. Sorry, my head's kind of chopped off. These are some Sonoma Capris, and they, why are these in this pile? There's a reason. Oh, there's no button. This is some random company t-shirt. I don't know why that was even in this box. That should have been in a t-shirt box. These are a pair of like old navy, really, really old. I, I cut out the, or I was, when I was going through what I'm taking to buy, sell, trade, if you did not know this, old navy, limited, gap, 
Uh, all the mall brands, they usually have a tag somewhere inside that will tell you the date. If it's more than two years old, you'll want to cut that out because a lot of times styles don't go out of style, but these local buy, sell, trade stores won't purchase them if they see the date is old, but if there's no date, they'll purchase them. So anyway, these were from like 2004 and there's stains all over them. I did try to treat it just cause I'm like, I'll send them back to throw it up, but there's a stain, it didn't come out. This was a cute little crop sweater, no brand, but it had it's wool. It has a giant hole in it. Another pair of like really old, what is a uh, crazy, Liz Claiborne crazy horse shorts covered in stains. I did try to wash it, they didn't come out. Those were the couple of things where the stains didn't come out. This is American Eagle Real Soft Tees, which they are. If you see this line for yourself, try them on. They're so comfortable. Have some, but this is like, somebody loved this. I mean, it's not intense. It's just bad. It's really bad. This is actually a cute cardigan and I'm going to, you know, one of the reasons I like thread up, I like the bins, I like to keep things out of the landfills. Those things are not savable. The, like this, actually the pants with no button and the couple of shorts with like stains, I'll probably send that to my local. I have a, a uh, local thrift store that I donate to that all of their money goes to a really good cause. Uh, this is a Ganji open cardigan. It would be really cute, but there are so many pulls. It's just, it's not savable. These are a pair of uh, limited pants and they're just a mess. Like I, I washed a couple pair of these pants because it's like, I don't think the people had ever washed them. The inner bands were supposed to be white. I mean, gross. Like wash your clothes before you send them in somewhere. This is a brand Lush and I think it just had like giant stains all over it. I don't, I don't really remember, but nothing. This is like the, the worst condition little open faced hoodie covered in pills and like there's so much hair attached. It's gross. Now this would have been cute, not for me, but more, more mature woman. It's, I think it's vintage. It's by Studio Eye, has shoulder pads, but there's no size. So it's just like a open face blazer dress jacket. I don't know. I'm going to redonate that. Someone will love it, but I didn't want to have to list it or store it. And this is something neither of the buy sell trade stores will take and thread up won't take it back because there's no size. This again is just like, there was no saving this, not even with a sweater shaver, like, and it's like a brand neighborhood. I don't know. It's bad. Very bad. <laughs> But at least you're going to see all of the bad. Hopefully, of course, as I put these items in the, the next items under the lights, I'm going to find more flaws, but we're getting the worst out of the way, right? Okay, this is an Old Navy off the shoulder thing and there is a giant hole in it. This is oh, a pair of pants, probably very comfortable. They're Dan skin, but they have been so loved. I did try to sweater or shave these. It's not coming across. There was no helping these. So somebody will scoop those up from the thrift store. These are just, these are H&M, but they have seen way better days. Like there's so many threads and pulls and this is unfortunate because it's Lane Bryant size 1820 it feels so good but there are a couple stains on this that did not come out and just not worth my time to list a plain t-shirt with a bunch of stains this is made well so this is sad too but somebody loved this made well tank it's probably not well it is let me get my face out of it super pilly soup like this was someone's most favorite shirt this is Hollister, same thing, just a lot of stains that didn't come out. This is Jennifer Lopez, it's broken. There's like these weird things on the sleeves. This is actually a pair of brand new with the tags, Arrow high-waisted jeggings, but one of the belt loops has come undone. So this is something I will donate. Someone can fix that. It is brand new with the tags. These were $49.50, but 
I feel like this is the tag. It does say they're high-waisted, so maybe they're new. I don't know, but this looks old to me. Maybe not, because high-waisted was absolutely not a thing when I was in my arrow shopping days. This super cracked graphic and faded. See, like Some of the stuff is just... Ew. This was a guess tank top, but there was no saving. This, I mean, I don't know, maybe people just send it to thread up instead of throwing it in their own trash can. I don't know why some people send some of this stuff in. I need to stop wondering. I'm never going to get the answers. Um, this was Christopher Banks, but it is so pilly and there's holes in it. It's just a cotton sweater. This is New York and Company, but it had a hole. This is a, a vintage, like, basic editions, which I think was, like, old school uh, Kmart, like a nightgown, but somebody sewed to make the straps shorter, it, and there's no size tag, so not worth it. And the last item. This is special. My mom was sitting with me while I was going through this, and her reactions were so funny. So this does have a tag inside. All it says is size small. Check this thing out. This was a wish gone wrong, okay? It's a, it feels terrible. It has this little neck tie thing. But you guys, I've already told you, I am a large, like a large, medium large. Like, this is a small. This thing is huge, and I think it's supposed to be a shirt. There's no way it could be a dress because it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> it just feels so bad. So yeah, this is, I will donate this. Maybe someone can use this tool as part of a crafting project, but there you have it. So that was the trash and the, what I am keeping. Again, remember I have a dollar and 31 cents into each item. And I really hope, comment below, let me know if you like the idea of what I plan to do for you guys to show you how much I actually make by taking things to Play-Dohs and Style Encore and doing a video showing you what the Thread Up Partner Kit looks like, what did they take, how much did I make per item, and I'm gonna keep track and let you guys know. Again, I have $450 plus the taxes, uh, which is how I broke down my cost of goods. So I hope you stay tuned for the rest of this series. There, like I said, there will be some other videos in between. I have got, I got my hands on three fun boxes yesterday and I've got, I did order the 50 pound bulk kids box, which is brand new. I might've ordered two of them. So let's hope they're not awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am, I'm excited. You know, thread up. It's like one week I hate them, one week I love them. And it's just, I enjoy the mystery. But that's what it comes down to. Part of what I'm paying for is the fun and the mystery of opening the boxes and finding the treasures. I'm that kid. I'm basically an adult and a kid's, no. I'm a, yes, I'm an, I'm an adult in a kid's body. No, it doesn't sound right. Anyway, I'm a big kid. That's what I'm trying to say. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you will tune in for part two. See you later.